Hello, welcome to Poor English TV and today we're going to, I'm on a rubber mission episode 18 at an old but new place. I guess you can say that. We are at Jurong Lake. It's opposite. Yep. But I'm here at Jurong Lake with Buddy. Buddy is ready on the jetty. Uh he's ready starting fishing. But and the place looks promising. I mean it's nicer than the old one. Yeah, and uh, they have changed the jetty to a fishing dock, I guess. Uh yeah, so far this you can see the view. Yeah, and so currently we are on the first slide. So it's 6.45 right now. And I'll catch you guys later. See you guys on the other side. I'm gonna show you guys from where the fishing zone starts and to where it ends. So let's go. This is the first deck, <coughs> and where Buddy is is the second deck. Fast forward, that local. And this one right here is the third deck. first impression of this place is just as I expected I expected to be a lot of I expected it to have a lot of water activity like that like that one over there and you know, there's a lot of water activity during first flight um, some more you, yeah, and you have a, another one again but I do not know what it is whether it's a toman, claw knife peacock I'm, I'm not sure and this is why I expected because uh, this, this water has really been untouched by any angler for about two and a half years to three years if I'm not wrong and yeah still no catch report it's already 7am There's a beach in the lake. Okay. So it's 9.30 a.m. right now. And we've been changing spots uh, over and over again because the first spot where we went, we thought there was supposed to have a lot of action because it's not a lot in under a lot of pressure. But it turns out to be nothing at all. And right now we are beside the white wall. Yep. We've got a few... Buddy missed one, he hasn't caught any yet. I've caught around five. <laughs> yep. So, see you guys on the other side. We are at the bigger spot, the old one, and it's 10 a.m. My buddy got his first fish. Buddy, that part, ah. Good job. <laughs> Almost a zero fighter. 
Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, uh. <laughs> I get fish ya. Uh. Dangerous. I'm going to demonstrate on how to tie a fly. Yep, the fly is used to catch peacock bass in Singapore lah. It's mainly used everywhere, can be used everywhere, and it's really really easy to entice the peacock bass here in Singapore. And not only that, but it's also easy to use. Um, and also you could use it, you you can use it on a popper or behind of a bobber. Where is my bobber? My bobber is right here. You can just tie a monofilament line with the popper on it and then just the way to use it is you could twitch and pause or you can just do it on a slow straight retrieve uh so let's go get on it so basically first the materials is you need the hook you could either use the j hook or the straight shank hook but i recommend you guys to use this because it shows it's just nicer lah is it you you would you know presentation wise but and for those of you who are uh ultra like matt you guys can tie a bucktail by yourself and then you can just cast it like this without any bubble or without any bubble or popper for say and also you can tie a bucktail using this normal jig head just tie a bucktail on it it still works and Okay, you also need a swing thread to thread the. I'll show you guys later. And then you guys need this hair for the fly. Would be recommended to have those reflective ones. It's just nicer, and I think it reflects in the water as well. Because we need scissors, and most importantly, super glue, or else the thing, the fly won't stick onto the hook. Okay, so here we have our hook. I'm gonna place it down. So for each of these, it's up to your preference whether how many how many strips you guys want. But for me, I like it thick. So I'm just grab the bunch full of it and I place it down. And then same goes for the other colors. Uh you guys can put as many colors as you want. Maybe one strip, one color, rainbow, up to you guys. But for me, I prefer these two colors because it's been very effective for me. Just like rubber in the rubber mission video that I did. Uh, in Jurong Lake, it was these two colors that I caught that many uh, pickup bass in one day, and it was only using this fly. Okay, done. So you you want to try to level this, and then grab it in the middle. Grab it in the middle. Hold this tight, and then straighten the others. And then this is where you grab your hook, and then you just want to do that. Place the hook with the hair. I'm just call it the hair for now. And then here is where the swing thread comes in handy. This is where you start to twirl it around the shank of the hook. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, just to put a foundation on it. Just want to take out your super glue and put one tiny drop. You do not want many many drops on it because it will look just like this one, where I accidentally, accidentally pressed on it so many times. It will look like this, and it's ugly. Yeah. So you want one drop on it. Done. Done. That's all. And then. You want to to turn this around, and then so basically, this is the first part is is quite important because it's where you get your how how long do you get, you want it to be. But for me, it really doesn't matter as long as it hides the hook lah. But if it's too long, it's also not good because uh when you when the pickup bass bite, it might bite on the fly instead of the hook. So that's where the hook up ratio goes down. Okay, just twirl it a little bit more, and then each time you twirl it, just put a drop on it, and then just put it back, put it back, 
right here and then pull it a few more times and then again and again so this part loco you you fast forward or something ah Okay. Now, this is where you put it. Okay, and then this is where the scissors also comes in. You just wanna. Where is it? Right here. Cut this. Okay. Once it's cut, you're done. Just kidding. Sorry. Okay. So basically, you want to cut all the excess at the top. So that as long as the hook isn't covered, that is okay. Because this is where you need to like tie your monofilament line on it. If it's covered, then there's no point of you doing this. So, I'm going to cut all of it up. Okay. In the hole is there. Yeah, just enough to have the line inside. Okay, and then for the rest, the bottom, you see this hole? Whoops. Okay. Looks like my scissors got super glue on it. Okay, this part, you see all this circle, all this from that part, you want to cut it. Just slide in and out, cut, slide in and then cut. Okay. So, this part is really up to your preference. Whether you guys want it like this or you guys want to cut it and make it nice and neat. For me, I would like I just cut off the excess and make it level. Make it level. Yeah. Okay, if you guys think that it's still ugly at the top, you guys can now trim it again. <laughs> Alamak. Okay, then that's enough. That's okay. And then, tada! You got yourself a fly. So wait, hold on. Let me show you guys on how to tie it on a bobber. So basically, what you want is your bobber. Uh, doesn't matter. You guys doesn't don't need do not need to have this uh barrel swivel on it. But I do it just because I use this for multi-purpose. You guys can just buy, um, buy a bubble for bubble fly. So you want? Hold on, huh? Okay, I just cut myself a line, minimum filament line. I prefer twenty pounds because it's not too heavy and not too light. And so you want to tie a loop here. My hands are all stiff now because of the super glue. <laughs> Be careful, guys. Okay, and then at the end of the line, um, the snoot really depends on how long you want it to be. You want it to be very long. It's up to you guys, really. But for me, I like I like it just nice. I mean, half half my hand. Oops, sorry, wrong thing. Yep, there it is. Then basically, you want this to be inside. Okay. And then you can tie. My hands are slippery. Bye. Okay, well, I'm just gonna tie the easiest knot there is because my hands cannot tie properly.
and there you go there you go and then just put it in tada there you go trust me even though it's this thick sometimes it could, it could just be this small this thin and also it still has it still ha has a lot of hits on it as long as there is reflection i, I guess these colors are usually good in uh jerome lake chinese garden there's a new yeah there's a new place now in chinese garden which just opened recently okay and yeah that's all okay we've come to the end of the video uh, it's not a great session i mean i've got a, i got a few but he got one it's not as fruitful as what i expected because it's drone lake and yeah even though it's unpressurized there still isn't much action and yeah that's all thanks for watching bye bye see you on the other side